Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another exciting video from Codebugs. In today's video, we are going to explore the latest object segmentation model that has been released by the tech giant Meta. Yes, you heard it right. Meta recently released an AI model called Segment Anything Model, SAM for short. As you all know, Meta has been making huge strides in the world of AI and machine learning and they have been consistently releasing cutting edge technologies that are revolutionizing the way we interact with the digital world. Object segmentation in particular is a critical area of research in computer vision and it has many practical applications including autonomous driving, robotics, augmented reality and even background removal apps on your phone. And Meta's latest object segmentation model promises to be faster, more accurate and more efficient than any other model out there. So we're really excited to put it to the test and see how it performs in real world scenarios. So without further delay, let's jump right into it and see if the segment anything model lives up to its name. So let's check out the official website, right? So go to Google and it's segmentanything.com. This is the official page after the release. So segment anything model is a new AI model from Meta AI that can cut out any object in an image with a single click. Wow, that sounds very impressive. As you hover over the pictures, you are able to segment each and every object in the image, right? So that is the first image. The second image is placing a mask over every segment in the photo. And the third image is multiple valid masks for ambiguous prompts. Okay, so it is able to create a particular segment for a human as well as the jacket for the human is wearing, right? So there are multiple masks within the same segmentation, right? So that is beyond impressive. And here are some integrations that they have done. Here is a video integration and here is a bounding box prompts from an object detector can enable text to object segmentation. So the moment you type in cat, we are able to create uh, uh, bounding boxes around the cats that are, that are recognized in the image and masks are being drawn around them. So that is the second picture and extensible outputs. Output masks can be used as inputs to other AI systems. For example, object masks can be tracked in videos, enabling image editing applications to be lifted to 3D or used for creative tasks like collaging. So the moment we are able to mask this, we can send this input to another AI, for example, a 3D rendering AI, which can render this whole mask into an object. In 3D, we have zero shot generalization, which is complete masking of each and every segment that is there. We have a demo. So we'll go to the demo, select a dog in the image. Okay, the moment I start hovering in the picture, we can see different segments of the picture is being highlighted. So this is the ground, the, the foreground, this is the background, and this is the sky. And what happens if I go to the dog? Yes, exactly the dog is being masked without the stick wow now that is more impressive right so this any other object model can do but ambiguous prompts are being exactly calculated and they are what if i go on the stick okay the stick is recognized as a separate object that is different from the dogs and yes i want to keep going so where is the demo i'll go to the demo Let's, let's take something simple f at first. Let's take a dog, right? One simple dog. And okay, how to use the selection tool? So we can add and subtract areas, mask areas by adding points, select add area and then select the object. Okay, so if there is a segment that is not detected automatically, we can add that as a new segment and then we can remove that. That is cool. Okay, let me, let me expose the tools first, right? So we have hover and click. And we have box, roughly draw a box around an object. Okay, so if I draw a box like this, any and all segmentation inside will be selected, right? So right now I'm in hover and click and everything, find all the objects in the image automatically. Wow, that is the single shot detection, right? And cutouts, cutouts is, I think if you select a particular segment and you cut, you can, you're able to cut out that particular segment, right? That's what it said 
at the start. Yes, a new AI model from Meta AI that can cut out any object in an image with a single click. Okay, so all I have to do is find a click that says cut out. Yes, I have it here, cut out object. Okay, let's explore each and every feature one by one. So we have hover and click. So let me look at this. Oh, okay. Okay. So when I click on the dog, there are multiple segments within the dog, right? So for example, if I generally click on the center of the dog, we have the whole dog. And if I go to the sunglasses, I can I, okay. I'm able to singularly segment the sunglasses alone. Okay. So I'll click this and can I cut it out? Yes, I'm able to cut it out right wow this is extremely impressive right so i'm able to take out the sunglasses alone and i'll try this candy cane right here and tools okay close this cutout cut out the object okay that is not what i selected this one right i will cut this out yes i'm able to do that Wow, this is amazing. And uh, let's check out the other features, right? So this is hover and click. I hover over a segment and when it gets um, highlighted, when I click it, I'm able to cut it out, right? I'll go to the box and uh, let us see if we are able to draw a box around this dog. Right, so I want the dog alone. Yes, the dog all the segments of the dog are properly captured. I'll try cutting it out. Wow. This is this is beyond impressive. Now I have the dog. And I'll check out everything. Prompting Sam with each. Okay, final points after deduplicating predicted masks. Okay, this was the single shot detection, right? So all the uh, segments within the image are displayed here and it's colored differently so that you can see the distinction. So these are the legs, this is the body and this is the head. This is the sunglasses separately and this is the candy canes are of different colors. The chair, the top part, the bottom part, everything is different, right? Okay, let's do something more challenging. Let's, let's go pick up another. This is the one I'm looking for. Can it segment each and every vegetable here? That would be amazing. So they, they, they know we are looking for a challenge. The meta is very confident in their model. Oh, wow, wow. My mouse is already there on this particular vegetable and it's being segmented. I'm in hover and click right now. And I will go to other, even the smallest of the vegetables. The smallest, okay, what about thin ones? Oh, here it comes. No, we are not able to segment each bean out. Okay, I see now where we draw the line, right? So if it is a round object, you know, it gets properly segmented. Smaller, but you know, a thin objects it's having a problem with. Yeah, that, that makes sense. And this is better than any other model that we have had right now, right? So these are easy because they are thicker. Right, so this is difficult, yeah, obviously. And this shouldn't be a, an issue because it's big and round. And yes, I'm able to segment almost everything. No, that is that is beyond impressive. Okay, moment of truth. I'm gonna hover to this one. Okay, it's already picking, oh, wow. This is segment anything model, yes. Almost anything, but yeah, it is living up to its name. The next thing we'll be doing is using our own custom image because these will already be part of the data set, right? Training the model, Sam's data engine is the result of its training on millions of images and masks collected through the model in the loop data engine. Researchers used Sam and its data to interactively annotate images and update the model. This cycle was repeated many times to improve both the model and the data set. No, that, that's, that's good. And wow, 11 million images, 1 billion plus masks. Let us explore, you know, uh, new images. So I'm going to go to Pexels. We have free images there. 
and i'm going to select a crowd right so we need this is exactly the one that i'm looking for yes upload an image is it downloaded yet wow the model the model started acting already the image is uploaded and the model is acting on it while hovering on the screen sam is working behind the browser yes so that was the prompt that i saw for a brief second there so which means this is not an already segmented model so the moment i hover while hovering over the image sam is running in the browser which means the moment i am hovering over the image is when the coordinates of my particular mouse is taken into account like and uh, object detection is performed around that coordinate and we are able to segment that is that is a very unique approach right wow. i am able to single out each and every human being here i don't know i didn't expect anything else meta has proven itself to be i don't know this is this is beyond impressive i i have no words for this wow okay so i just noticed something i am able to single out his shirt alone so this is an ambiguous request right so when i hover over a person that has multiple segments there should be some kind of an indicator of where i am pointing right so for example if i'm pointing the hat oh wow wow for a brief second i was able to see the hat alone okay so let's let's take a clearer image okay moment of truth i'm going to hover over the person's shirt and wow yes we are able to segment it separately did you see for a split second there i was able to okay i just have to place my my cursor correctly i think i got it yes i'm able to segment the person's overcoat over the shirt that he has worn over the t-shirt right that alone is being segmented his bag wow yes his pants okay his shoes wow the other shoe yes and his hair oh oh my god i did not expect that i wasn't expecting the hair to get segmented and wow i am surprised yes oh this is fun this is fun yes and that's it for the web demo i guess and yeah this is the home page right So we have the demo, we have the data set. Let's check out the data set. 50k preview of the full 11 million data set. Okay. And let's go to blog. Introducing Sam working towards the first foundation model for image segmentation. Yes, I will definitely read this blog, right? So this has so much information about what Sam is. and what is the notion for sam the different integrations gaze based object detection detecting stack okay wow so so gaze is basically the object in focus right so when you have a camera and you're taking a video there should be some kind of object in focus like for example it can be in the center or it can be the most clearest in the video right so right now uh let's say the dryer is the um uh, object of reference right so that is what it is focused on so that would be detected that would be segmented and uh, that would be recognized right so everything is happening here object segmentation is happening object detection is happening obviously and object classification is also happening yes we have the github link let's check that out segment anything we have all the files here we have the readme here and this is the simple architecture of the particular model um you really don't have to understand in depth but uh, just check out the readme you know to understand how to use this in your code right so what we did right now is the model was running in the browser we did not run the model ourselves so for any kind of let's say you want to customize it to one particular set of segmentation or something but but this can segment anything right you don't have to customize it to do anything but if you want to integrate it with other ai 
for example like how we saw for 3d rendering and everything you need to be able to run it in your local machines right so that is where the github thing comes in so this is the readme right so i will definitely create a video of how we are going to use this and run it in our local machines and i guess that concludes the video for today thank you thank you so much for what we'll meet you in the next video until then from team codebug